don't worry, that's the last slide you'll see. Let's do some straight database talk, no slides. We're on 10G, should we upgrade to 19C or 21C? You have to do both. Now, let me explain. If you're on 10G, I think we can safely say that you've been hesitant to do upgrades because 10G came out, ooh, I, think, I don't know, around the 2000 and, when did 10G come out? Probably, I'd say 15 years ago at least. So if you're on 10G, there's obviously a very strong hesitation to doing upgrades. Otherwise you'd be on at least some other version by now. And I would stress, you definitely want to be not on 10G because the moment a product goes out of support, the thing that kills you is not the stability because generally all the Oracle databases get very stable over time, is the fact that you don't get security patches. No security patches means you're in dire straits. As we've seen from the last few days with the Log4j stuff, uh, you can get stuck in a awful mess if you have a security hole in your software products. That's the drama of staying on old unsupported database releases. You no longer get any security fixes coming along. So if you're on 10G, presumably you don't like doing upgrades. That means the natural choice for you is 19C. 19C is what we call a long-term support release. What that means is once you go to 19C, we will continue to support it and continue to release patches, in particular security patches, I think until 2027, might even be 2028. If you're on 10G and you've obviously been there for a long, long time, you should jump to 19C because then you can stay there for a very long, long time as well. And that's the assumption I'm making there. However, the reason I say you must also go to 21C is for those people, and this doesn't matter where you're coming from, whether it's 10G, 11, 12, etc. For those people who upgrades are a pain, they don't like doing them, they're gonna to go to 19C because it's a long-term support release. Don't forget, another long-term support release will come at some stage, and it's going to be 23C, and probably 27C or 26C, one of those things. At some stage, your 19C is going to run out, and you have to go to the next long-term support release. What's gonna be different in those long-term support releases? Let's say it's, 26C is the next long-term support release after 23C. And you're gonna hang on to 19C way up until 26C. 26C is gonna contain the features that came in 21 and 23. And if there's a 24 or a 25, all the features and changes to the product that come in those releases will be in the next long-term support release. And if you go from 19 to 26, all of a sudden during that upgrade cycle, you now have to adopt all these new features and new paradigms and new tech you know, methods that you've never seen before. It's far safer if you're obviously a low risk uh, customer, your low risk is about doing less upgrades, far safer to, to upgrade your production system to 19C. At the same time, grab some sandboxes, some private databases, even developer you know, playthings, put them on 21C so you start to become familiar with them. And then when 23C comes out, start to become more familiar with them again. Because that way, when you do make that big leap to the next long-term support release, whether it's 23 or something even farther on, you know what to expect. Because ultimately, knowledge is the way you lower risk when it comes to doing upgrades. Classic example, I've had so many people reach out to me on Ask Tom, Twitter, email, etc., saying, I've installed 21C, I can't connect with my tnsnames.ora. And what they haven't realized is that 21C uses a different setup for the Oracle Home. The TNS names files are not under Oracle Home Network Admin. They're stored elsewhere because 21C uses the read-only Oracle Home. These are the kind of things that's really good to find out when you're just playing around on a non-production system. If you were doing an upgrade from say 19C to 23C, you would make that discovery probably a week before you upgraded after you install the software, and then you're gonna be in a bit of a panic. So I stress, even if you are a customer that is solely motivated to go into between long-term support release to next long-term support release to the next one, et cetera, you should always be exploring, working with those intermediate innovation releases to pick up the new features, to pick up the new paradigms, the new methods, such that when you do go to that next long-term support release, 
you're well versed in what's going to happen. That makes it much lower risk for you and a much more successful chances of a good upgrade.